season I broke records while loose leaf and I'm coming now I'm my Hey YouTubers, I'm Mayla and welcome back to another video <laughs> Hey YouTubers, I'm Mayla and welcome to another uh, hair video In today's video I'm going to be doing a curl manipulation manipulated curl video so all the curly girlies I'm sure you all are familiar with doing all these do these little cool little tips and tricks to change up your curl a little bit you know everything from the finger coil to twist out braid outs there's all these cool little things that you can do when you get bored with your typical regular curl so i have six different curl manipulation methods that i'm going to show you on my head and i'm going to do side by side comparison so i'm going to do two at a time there are six of them that i'm going to do but today i'm going to do i'm going to do them two at a time and today's two i'm going to do um the denman brush curl method which I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with that one and I'm also going to be doing the finger coil so on one side will be the Denman brush the other side will be the finger coil and I don't know how much different these are going to look side by side but I'm going to do them both right here in this video and the next video will be the other two blah 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 bloop 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 if you're interested in seeing this video and more you know drop a like on my head you know drop drop a like right there just you know one little click and boom pow it's over y'all know y'all know y'all have probably heard it a million times here on on this tube you know subscribe like subscribe like like and subscribe you know but if you don't you know what i still appreciate you for even being here <laughs> you know what i mean because you ain't even got to be doing this much if you're interested in seeing these two curl manipulation methods man manipulation curl manipulated curl methods stay tuned
so it is the next day and my hair is 100% dry there it's dry all the way down to the roots and this is my hair um before the gel cast break before the fluffing and the separating of separating of the curls this is what it looks like just being dried so this is the finger coil side right here you know what I mean that's how that looks okay and then the Denman brush side is over here make sure y'all can see that you see that let me see Let me get y'all trying to see y'all see the end. That's that. Finger coil. Dimming brush. So the curls don't look um terribly different. They're not it's not a huge difference, but the finger coil side is more spirally for sure than this side right here. I mean they're both really spirally, but the finger coil, I mean the dimmer brush coil gives me smaller, I wasn't even in the camera. The finger, I mean the dimmer brush coils give me smaller cur curls, whereas the finger coil, they're bigger. Obviously because I did them in bigger clumps, whereas the dimmer brush, you know, it just separates them because I got the dimming brush with the smaller closer together bristles um so you know this is what it looks like on my hair type so if there's someone who has my hair type or similar you know and you was looking for a different way to like do your curls this is what they look like on me you know boom finger coil dim and brush curl so now I'm going to show you from behind. Dim and brush. Finger coil. You know, maybe you can see the comparison from here. You know. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the curls a little bit fluff them out a little bit and see what that will look like and I'll be back all right so I fluffed it out a little bit not a whole lot y'all can see um I didn't want to do because y'all see that fluffing I don't want to do I didn't want to do too much fluffing because or too much like separating because then my hair start to get this frizziness going because the gel, you know, as you're separating it, the gel cast starts like breaking. I'm assuming the gel cast is like that hardness and you like scrunch at it or separate the curls and it kind of breaks it and your hair is soft now. The gel was already kind of, the gel cast was kind of already breaking um, because of how I had it wrapped up last night because I do also like to stretch my curls maybe for the first two or three nights um, I like to stretch them so what I do is I'll put them you know put them into pigtails and I'll wrap like you know the banding method I guess I just take two and I'll wrap a band around it that kind of like gives me a little bit of length um, so because of that my the gel cast was already kind of broken a little bit and then with me separating it so you know you can see I'm already getting like some frizz especially right up in here right up in here where my roots is where my roots is where my roots are they like some frizziness going on like right up in there yeah and that's why I don't really like to do too much like breaking I'm sure as I get further along in the week that my hair will just get bigger 
get fluffier on its own and I don't necessarily have to do it. So that's something that new that I'm learning about my hair is that when I first do the wash and go, I should just leave it alone. Like that first day after I'm done, um, I don't separate the curls, don't break the gel cast, just let that kind of naturally happen because my hair will naturally do that. Excuse that noise you hear because it's raining and the camera is right, the window is like right behind the camera. So that's it. That is a comparison of the finger coil method and the Denman brush method. Um, I have two more that I'm going to show you. There's actually four more that I could show you, but the last one I'm still debating if I'm going to record that one. But I do have two other curl methods, other two curl manipulation methods that I want to show side by side comparison to. So if you're interested in seeing that, leave a like. That will let me know, hey, we want to see it, even though I'll probably upload it anyway. <laughs> But it would still help to know that, hey, you know, whoever's watching this is actually interested in seeing more. So that's it. That's it for this video. Um, if you did stop by and you made it all the way here to the end, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.